deadly New Year's Eve plane crash in Costa Rica, killing 10 Americans, wiping out two families. And tonight we know one of those families is from here in the Bay Area. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jameson Yule. And I'm Laura Harris in for Wendy this half hour. The Weiss family of Bel Air was on that Cessna with another family of five when it crashed. Tonight, the U.S. State Department is investigating along with Costa Rican aviation authorities. Our Carson Chambers reports live from St. Pete tonight from Shorecrest Preparatory School. Carson. Well, hey, this is where both of the children attended school. Uh, Ari was here as a sophomore and Hannah actually had moved on to Columbia University, but their friends say that they pursued life with passion and commitment. It just sounded like it was going to be a really fun trip for the whole family. A family vacation the Weisses had been looking forward to in Costa Rica. And this morning when I heard the news, it was just it was almost devastating. Spencer Hornsby says he and his family are in shock. The Weiss family lived a few homes away, and Dr. Leslie Weiss was his seven-year-old son's pediatrician from birth. They were always happy, smiling, always wanting to know about my son, and it's still heartbreaking just hearing the news. The Weiss family was very active at St. Pete's Congregation Benai Israel. Dr. Mitchell Weiss, a radiologist at Morton Plant Hospital. Their kids, excellent students. 19-year-old Hannah, studying at Columbia University. And her younger brother, 16-year-old Ari, a sophomore at Shorecrest Prep in St. Pete. Ari was one of the sharpest, brightest kids in his class. Straight-A student. Um, just this effervescent personality, gregarious, friendly. Tom Dillo knew both Ari, a friend of his son, and taught 19-year-old Hannah before she went off to school. He says Hannah was dedicated to social justice issues and a leader within the United Synagogue Youth. I think all of us in the community are still in shock, um, and we're coming to terms with um, the loss not just of a member of our community, but of um, an entire family in our community. Why the cause of the plane crash is still being investigated, photos on Hannah's social media show the family's flight over Costa Rica aboard the private aircraft that would eventually go down. And also on that plane was another family of five from New York and a pilot. They were also killed in the crash as well. Live in St. Pete, I'm Carson Chambers, ABC Action News.